Hi guys and welcome back to the Pontic Pentapolis challenge where we are trying to take every single settlement around the Black Sea, all 70 of them. We are very clearly the masters of the western edge now, as you can see guys, which is um, it's very, very good. I think we're doing a great job, honestly of absolutely smashing the western edge here and uh, both of our armies are currently going back for retraining so that is the main thing we're going to do right away is go back for retraining and then we are going to decide whether we want to send the southern army east across the sea of marmara into chalcodon and uh, byzantium and uh, bithynia all that sort of thing or whether we're just going to fully focus up north. I have a feeling we may be fighting the Bosporans this episode, but I guess we're going to find out, guys. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to press the end turn and we'll get going. Well, I think that is going to decide it for us, guys. A ceasefire offer from Byzantium for 6,000 gold. Oh, thanks. Not bad at all. Let's offer them trade rights. Apparently very demanding. I mean, our relationship is zero and our reputation is 60, so... Yeah, they're not going to be too happy about that, are they? <laughs> well, the only real thing to note from that end turn, apart from the ceasefire, guys, is the fact that the Thracians have attacked us. This is why we went on hard. I think you can see why we went on hard rather than very hard. You can see the Thracians are sort of expanding. They were sieging down Basante, but um, it looks like they've decided to go for us instead of Basante. <laughs> Uh, which is very, very annoying, I'm not going to lie. I mean, they have a very decent army here. But yeah, if we were on very hard, all of these nations would attack us. I still do think they all are going to attack us at some point. Especially, say, the Gete when they run out of rebel settlements to take along the coast. Well, near the coast, at least. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit of a rough situation. But um, not much we can really do. I probably should have used these guys to get these guys a bit faster, but that's okay. Well, we have been attacked by the cultural generics of the Greek city-states in the north as well. I thought these guys were supposed to be pretty neutral, but um, apparently not after being attacked by them both in a, in a short space of time. Let's get a wall over here on that one while we can, while we have the money. Um, and then let's get these guys in ready for retraining, I hope. Oh, we don't have retraining of the hoplites here i think it's in istri oh no that is just aor okay it's down there it's down there. It's only one away it's going to slow us down somewhat but it should be okay we have recruited a lot of troops now so maybe we will have to destroy uh to not build that wall for the time being hmm gonna need to destroy something to get a little bit of cash probably something down here i mean we probably don't really need the missile range up there. So let us do that. And then we should be able to retrain everything. We do have a few extra troops now who we are going to gather together. Um, and then, yes, we shall get going again. Well, the good thing about these settlements, guys, is the fact that they're not needed to complete the challenge at all. Like, we definitely we don't need them. We are going to go and knock them back. We could take the opportunity to kill them. But uh, let's get uh, our other army together first. And uh, we're going to get them on the boats. Hopefully we don't kill them uh, for a little while. Then we're going to grab all of these guys onto the boats. How far can you actually go? Can you drop them off there maybe? That's good. And then we're going to just pop into there to keep them safe. In terms of our other money, like I say, with the Gete bordering us now up here... We definitely do want walls in both of those places. And yeah, we are still under siege. Unfortunately, I think the Greeks might win that siege. So yeah, that's not going to be ideal. This should allow us to get horse archers now, if I am not mistaken. No, just get it slingers. Level two, we can get horse archers. So we need to save a little bit of money for that. And then we can get our own horse archers without having to rely on very expensive mercenaries. And there go the Greeks, guys. We are just going to auto-resolve that. That is unfortunate, but um, we will be back for all four of those settlements very soon. So I did completely ignore these Thracians, because I think if we have a big army nearby, they're not going to be too bothered. And like I say, I, I'm not bothered if Busia falls 
to them because it's it's not in our challenge, guys. It's really not in our challenge. Don't need to waste time fighting a humble two stack, do we? Do we have enough movement to get to the uh, Greeks? We absolutely do. So we are going to go with all of our might towards the Greeks in the north now, which is very nice indeed. And then we're going to come around this way, probably take Karkine, that sort of thing. And then we'll have a look at whether we can fight the Bosporans. They're looking rather scary though now, guys. These Sindian cavalry are pretty good cavalry, honestly. Um, they have javelins, so they're not horse archers, but they are a missile cav that can be quite annoying to take on. But a very good missile cav, not just a standard generic one. Well, as probably should have been expected... <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Thracians did decide that they uh, wanted to come back. So what I'm thinking of doing is if I can find one of their diplomats, maybe. What are these guys? That is Paeonia, Tribali, Bessie. Mm, there's not one. Ooh. Yes, you are Thracians. Cool. Let's go talk to this guy. Let's go for a ceasefire, trade rights. I don't know why we can't. Ah, they're allied with the Greek city-states. That'll be why we can't. What I'm thinking is if I give them Kabylia, Kabylia, there we go, will they be happy? Very demanding, sure, apparently. Just. Really? Really? That is dumb. That is so dumb. <laughs> that means we're just going to be stuck here fighting these idiots for so long. I think we're just going to have to push them back, you know. <sighs> the problem is if I force these areas to revolt, they will revolt back to the Thracians rather than anyone else or maybe busy will go to the ast now the asti are dead so yeah it's not really ideal for us i'm not gonna lie um but yeah let's uh let's bring our horse archers out of arpis now because it looks like arpis is very happy it is i'm gonna bring you round okay we don't even have space for these boys all of them but that's fine we're gonna go for that very soon let us take on the uh the old thracians though first uh, before we do anything else, I just want to kill them. Like, just go away. Like, it's just dumb. <laughs> I don't think we need much more than cavalry here, guys. So we are going to do it all just with the old cavalry, if we can help it. We have a lot more javis than them, so we should be able to completely ruin them. And here comes the uh, Romfire Foroy. I think we can afford to charge these guys. They are not good in a uh, charge because they're not spearmen. So, uh, yeah, normally a charge works very well against them, and they are instantly broken. There we go. There we go. That's what we like to see. Now we just need to try and kill this Hippocontisti, which I can tell already is going to be rather annoying. <laughs> but I don't want to spare any men from this army if we can help it. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Well, here we go. It looks like they might be coming for the party. Let's see if we can get them. There we go, boys. Go, go, go. Catch them. Catch them, boys. Go on. <laughs> Yes, we got them. That should hold them then. That should hold them. And we should be okay. There we go. Glorious little victory, my friends. Nice and easy. Well, there we go. We only lost 16 men. That should be enough to hopefully destroy them. So a glorious little skirmish. And I'm wondering if we can push these guys back. We can potentially get a draw out battle there, which is going to be rather spicy. So, um... I think we go for this. There's a lot of missile troops in here, guys. There's like three units of infantry and that's all. There is some noble cavalry, which are rather scary. So this isn't going to be incredibly fun. They're going to come in from the far left. But um, we should be okay. We should be okay. Let's go. Well, our main thing here, I think, is going to be forcing them to engage with us early. So I am thinking we just go straight for the Light Lancers. I mean, they only have Peltas and Slingers here as support for their cavalry. So I don't think it's going to be too bad. We're going to get the charge off straight away as well. We should be able to break these guys, no problem. There we go. They are starting to die, which is perfect. There we go. Let's see if we can get these Peltas now as well. Remember, we have to kill 85% of this army to... Um, to take the city still. So I don't want to just be silly with the army. Um, I do need to chase them down. So uh, let's keep coming forward though with the rest of our army. I just want to engage all of these missile troops guys before anything crazy sort of happens. I want you to stop firing as well now. Because that's going to uh, destroy them. What is that? That's a Hippocontisti. Mm. 
Looks like the Hippogantistae is going to get involved. Okay. Let's see what we can do here with our generals then. I think we probably aren't going to take the city with this battle. Um, but it is unfortunate that we are wasting time in an area that we really do not need to be uh, to be fighting in. I'm going to keep the, all of these guys together for now. And uh, we're just going to keep piling on the pressure onto this army and just keep marching forward. They are right against the edge. So, uh, yeah, that's fine for us. We're going to defend our flanks here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see what we can do. Potentially use these guys to defend the flanks as well. And, uh, yeah, bring them forward. Here they go. Here comes the Noble Cavalry. Straight into the fight, boys. Straight into the fight. Let's smash it, boys. Let's go. Spicy meatballs for everybody. Come on, man. Get charging forward. What do we have? Light Lancers. Okay, here we go. What is that? Light Lancers. Oh, God, I've taken the wrong person. Here we go. Right, just, just everyone get into these Light Lancers. Light Lancers are just trash. They should just die. Keep, uh, keep on having a go at them, guys. And, uh, yeah, the rest of us, we are just charging forward with wanton abandonment. But um, who really cares? Like, uh, <laughs> they're all light troops apart from the Ronfire 4 -O, So this is what we have to do, unfortunately. Um, let's see if we can maybe surround these boys there with our cavalry, which is incredibly, incredibly damaged as of now. We are going to turn you back on fire at will, boys. Back on fire at will. One of you should be able to get them. The rest of you... Need to come around this way. We're going to... Oh, my God. They're all just breaking. They are all failing in their duty as soldiers. <laughs> come on, kill them. <laughs> These silly sausages. This is what you get, Thracians. Honestly, like, this, 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 this. This is what you get, bro. <laughs> like, why? Why did you do this to yourself? Why did you do this to yourself? <laughs> Unfortunately, a lot of them did survive. As you can see at the end, they were very close to the walls. But um, I think that was the best way of keeping all of those missile troops contained. Otherwise, it would have taken forever. And uh, probably resulted in a lot more losses for us. We only lost, what, 100 or so? Very nice. I might send some of the progeny back for retraining. But apart from that, a very nice job indeed. And there we go. Let's uh, let's siege down Bisante there. think that's okay, okay for auto resolve but uh <laughs> i guess we'll find out guys but first of all let's get into tyras should be nice and quick and easy primarily going to use the um the cavalry once again and the archers to do as much damage as we can so let's go through the walls we go boys through the walls we go let's see if we can uh, bait these boys and uh, we'll bring these guys forward too. We'll do a little bit of a surround on them. Very good. Let's go, boys. There we go. That's what we like to see. We've got all of our, all of these guys at the front, although most of them have actually run out of ammo now. So, uh, ooh, that's probably going to do a little bit of friendly fire, but who cares about friendly fire? <laughs> well, there they go. They did not stand much of a chance, did they, my friends? Not much of a chance at all. So we've got to decide what we want to do here now. This is the hard thing because we need to get this guy off the town square. So we're going to try and bring through, say, these horse archers. All that sort of jazz and see whether we can maybe uh, get these guys off the town square. Well, here we go. The things we do to try and get single units off the town square, guys. <laughs> um, yep. <laughs> We've got our horse archers here firing into the enemy. That means the Greek's bodyguard is there. We've got these guys supposedly firing, but I don't think they are actually firing. Now, the problem here is, can we... Oh, okay, no. The Greek hoplites are moving. Let's see what we... Okay, no, no, no. They're gonna, they're gonna chill. Let's, uh, let's get this guy here. We'll get this guy here, too. Do we have another guy? Could do with one more, maybe. If they... I really want them to get here. So, uh, let's see if we can try and bait them. I think every time one of their soldiers dies, they should want to chase us a little bit. But uh, unfortunately, they do have a, a nice bit of shield and armor, so they don't want to chase us too much. How are we doing? We've hardly lost any men against the general's bodyguard. That's fantastic. Well, finally, they have come off the town square. Okay, go, 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 go. just engage them. Engage them, boys, engage them. And there we go. That is it for the boys. Let's go. We'll get these guys in here too. Hopefully, we can squish them. Come on. Hurry, men. Hurry. 
Hurry, 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 hurry. We need to stop them getting back on the town square. I think we're just out of time for that. Oh, come on. They're still on the town square just about. We need to push them off, though. We need to push them off. Come on, boys. Who is on guard mode? Why did you not chase them? That's crap. Come on, boys. Oh, my God. Am I 12? I just said crap. <laughs> There we go. Time to push them now. We have fully surrounded them. So hopefully we can kill these guys that are on the flank. Push them off the town square. Make them break. That'll be it. So we'll just speed it up. Or we'll, again, we're just going to kill them all apparently. Because they're staying on the town square. So uh, yeah, yeah. apparently we're just a massacre. There we go. Perfect. Perfect for the boys. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. We only lost 36 men. Apparently we lost another 30 to friendly fire but like i say guys who cares about friendly fire so i think we're going to enslave tyras that is going to be the option there and i don't think we're going to build anything particularly we could go for the greek recruitment but yeah I, I, we're already building over here i believe yes we already have built one level of that that allows us to get obliopolite hoplites which is very nice so uh, let's leave behind one of these little goblins or like i uh like i probably should call them greek slingers uh, but there we go and uh, we'll get you into there my friend let's organize these boys too this is a very nice army I i'm loving this army honestly horse archer support light cavalry support with an absolute chungus of uh, <laughs> of hoplites very nice Oh, hey, we got 304 Cavalry. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> not going to lie. That's not my favorite. My favorite thing. To oh, we have one reform. Is that? I don't think that's right then if we now get 304 Cavalry. Because surely there's one for 304 Cavalry. Recruit 50 units. Well, you, we can probably do that relatively easily. Are we not on 50 units? Let's have a look. Uh, here we go. Yeah, we've got 73 units. So... Why do we not have access to Epilectoy and all that shebang? Do we have a level 5 recruitment on here somewhere? Yes, we do. There we go. No, we we don't have access to... Oh, maybe it's recruiting 50. Maybe we've not recruited 50. We got some mercenaries. We started with a relatively large army, honestly. So... Yeah, we probably need to recruit a few more, and then we'll be good. Well, for the next Greek settlement, guys, we are just going to auto-resolve. 288 does seem a bit obscene, but uh, the one thing is, it's all coming out of the hoplites there, so really doesn't matter. As long as it doesn't come out of the, uh, the horse archers, honestly, I couldn't care less. So we are going to go straight... Oh, actually, no, we're going to attack this guy. Oh, we can do a draw-out battle there. That is fantastic. We will do that. Absolutely. We've got the Gete looking at us now. That's not ideal, I'm not going to lie. We did get a few more garrison boyos, so uh, we will start sending them up. We'll put them on the boats. Was it here as well? It was there. And then Bizia, we got one of these boys as another garrison boy. Oh, hello Byzantion. I don't believe it told me that we were at war. Let's have a look. Did it just tell me here? That's weird. It didn't actually say that we were at war with Byzantion. But that's okay. That's okay. Also, with this one, I think, again, it's probably going to be an easy auto-resolve there. We don't need to play all of these battles, do we, guys? Not when we've got bigger fish to fry on the horizon. Let's leave Basanthe alone for now. Repair the walls. And we'll go straight for Byzantion. This is why I got a ship. So that we can actually go and take Chalcodon. Because I have decided we are going across the strait. Can you get there? You can. Okay. Interesting. Bang. He's gone onto the boats. And there we go. Straight onto Chalcodon. Uh, the Bithynians do still own this. Which is good. And they still own here. That's amazing. Because we don't want to border the Seleucids, guys. That is, <laughs> that is the main thing. Well then, guys, let's move on to this draw-out battle up here. Two generals. Interesting. We don't actually have two generals in our army. We've only got one. And then 
all missile troops in the second army. So it is likely going to be one for the cavalry, my friends. The only problem here is if any of these generals survive at all, we will not take the city in this one fell swoop. So we have to have our light cavalry close to our horse archers in general, I think. Let's go. Yes, the favor of the gods. That shall be on our side. Well, here we go, guys. We've got our guys on skirmish mode for once. Mainly because I don't want to forget about them and get them killed. That, of course, is never a good option. Um, so, yeah, we are just going to basically surround these boys. Fire as many old jabbies as we can into them. And uh, as many arrows into them as we can. Look at that. That, that, that guy is going to die. Let's go after him now. We do have to be on hand, though, with one of these light cavalry to chase them down if we need to. There we go. He's a single general left. Single general, reveal yourself. Oh, we just killed our own men with that. There we go. Let's get these two through there now. Uh, and we'll group them together. So that is good. We now can uh, face the other way and face this secondary army, which I believe is able to withdraw. But, um... Hopefully they don't. Hopefully they don't. The main thing is killing that Prodromoy. Come on, Prodromoy. You need to catch them. You should be faster, guys. You should be faster. They're fresh, though. That's that's the reason why they're taking a bit of time to catch up to them. But all we have left is the general. Got to kill him, men. Got to kill him. So I've decided to bring my uh, hoplites up. Unfortunately, we have not yet. Oh, we have. I think we killed the general. Just didn't say. Okay, good, 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 good. Yes. That is very good for us. Well, here go the hoplites, guys. They are going to get into the Greek general. Again, that is the guy that we need to surround. So I am going to fully try and surround him with these boys. So hopefully he cannot escape. Cannot escape. There he goes. There he goes. Kill him. Make sure he does not escape, my men. And then I think the rest of these guys, let's just go in straight in there. Yes. There we go. This should be fairly simple now. Let's keep going, my friends. Let's keep going. Well, there we go, guys. I think that should be everything. I think we'll take the city there. We did kill all the generals, and they have less than 85%, uh, less than 15% remaining. So, uh, yeah, hopefully the city is ours. And there it goes. There it goes. Cleaning up this area. Oh, my God. 656. Well, let's just occupy. <laughs> I didn't realize that they were so broken over here. Let's leave behind the singular unit that took no part in that battle. And we will go straight on to Adesos Scythia over here. You guys, yeah, you need to go and join them. Um, and then we need some more garrison troops, unfortunately. We are just expanding so quickly that we do not have any garrison troops. So what I think we'll do as well, we'll swap around you two. Because Tyras is a much, much better city than uh than Arpis over here definitely actually not that much different but Tyras uh is trading on the sea which of course is going to provide us with a lot more money and once again Byzantium comes groveling to uh, us but um yeah this time I think it's going to be a no unless unless they offered us like 20,000 we'd accept it then attack them anyway but yeah no absolutely not you fools well another candidate for adoption he is 28 so he's not exactly min maxi but um yeah i think that's fine we're going to send him to Nikonion. that's going to allow us that's going to free up one of the uh garrison units in there we're going to just auto that as well 84 is definitely not uh too bad at all and uh, what i'm thinking is if we enslave that now and then we leave behind oh, we can't actually leave behind anyone really um of interest hmm yeah that's slightly annoying we kind of need that guy there Olbia does have Sarmatian horse archers which is a good unit but uh we do only have 16 of the Scythian noble cavalry they are so good honestly we don't have any movement points so let's just wait here for a turn and then we'll go for the Karkine in fact when I say wait here for a turn we could just wait just outside the city to keep our movement points because if you don't know guys inside this mod 
if you stay inside a city with a general, they don't have that extended movement points that they do if you leave them outside the city. In terms of our building, guys, we'll just give you a little bit of an update right now. We are building shrines to Zeus in the north up here in a couple of settlements, basically because of the law. If we have a look in here, you can see we're losing money uh, due to corruption, 342. So we're going to lose 88 from that. So, um, unfortunately, it's going to reduce our trade somewhat, but that, I don't think that's due to the building. Surely not. Yeah, that shouldn't be due to the building. That's probably just a change of trade that's happened somewhere. Maybe it's uh, devastating um, one of these provinces. Something like that, maybe. But yeah, we're building that in the north because of the distance to our capital. Um, down in the south, we're building in a variety of places. Not everywhere, but some places, some land clearances. In Diana, Nisa, we're building some roads. We have built roads all the way down here now as well, which has been very, very helpful in terms of moving our armies when we need to. Um, and then Mesembria, we are building the next level of barracks just so that we are ready to build the epilectoys when we can we're going to upgrade this city some point soon in fact i'm going to put that down to low so it does keep growing that's definitely going to help because with the new patch guys population 7500 to get up to city now um so obviously it's a lot harder to get up to city but then we're just building general economic buildings in a lot of places apart from our military hubs and then in these sort of getic areas we are building up to level two when we can so that we can get daisy and horse archers we will need the second tier stables as well but um that's not going to be a problem that should take a few turns but we'll be fine Right then, guys, Byzantium has brought a force to defend Chalcodon. So I would like to destroy this force. Um, basically because I think we'll take out Byzantium here. And if we do that, I don't want these rebels hanging around to attack us. So we'll probably defend against the left and try and kill them before they're in the city. Well, here we are set up to get ready. Let's see where that army comes in from. And it is coming in exactly where we expected. Uh, problem is... They're probably going to run away, but they will run into the city, won't they? That is the main thing. So that's quite good for us. That's quite good for us. We can kill plenty of them while we are out here. We're going to get our cavalry around the flanks, ready to go. And we should be engaged in combat very, very soon. So come on, boys. Well, here we go. Straight into the lines, guys. Straight into the lines. We're going to send our guys up here to get rid of their own progemoy. We don't want to have to worry about them too much. I'm going to try and engage these boys, and then we're going to get a cavalry round into this little gap to flank while our boys are taking out the walls. I think that is the uh, the best plan, so let's see how we uh, how we get on with it. Let's get these guys into that progemoy there while we can, and uh, you boys, you can uh, get that way there. That is their general, which is just a progemoy. So, yeah, it shouldn't be too much of an issue to take out these boys at all. Problem here is the Progemoy are going to run through my men. I don't think my men are going to do anything. Like, are they going to be able to get through or not? This might stop them knocking down the gates. But, yeah, they are actually killing them. So, if they keep doing that, that is absolutely fantastic for us. That's their first general. Let's uh, go for a cheeky little charge. And, uh, yeah, we should be good. I'm not going to charge the Progemoy in in this battle. I think we'll be okay. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, keep using the generals while we can. Nice and useful. Not bothered about those guys fighting to the death. That 304, right? Fair play. Absolute chads. Only seven of them, and they're still fighting. Fair play. I respect that. Well done, Byzantion. You're putting up a little bit of a fight. There's our general. We're going to make sure he doesn't die. There we go. That's a nice little charge, isn't it? Whoa! <laughs> that really did shock me then. Um, really did shock me. <laughs> but yeah, we should be able to absolutely ruin all of these guys because I think they're going to run through our men. So uh, very nice indeed. All right, now our men are pretty, pretty tired. So we are just going to walk them back. Luckily, all they really have is cavalry now inside the city. So I think our hoplites are going to do a very, very good job of fighting the old, uh, the old cavalry here. Very nice. Well, there goes the Zistaphoroite straight into our Thuriophoroite as soon as they're inside the walls. That's quite good for us. I would like to fight them in the streets. Absolutely savage them. Look at that. Spearmen going ham here. We do have two experience and a weapon upgrade with these boys. So they should be very, very good against the old cavalry. I mean, these guys are even silver now. 
which is very nice. And we are just walking them, of course, guys, because they are all a little bit tired. A little bit tired. Well, for some reason, guys, the Greek archers decided to take it upon themselves to, um, to come out and try and take the Thurio Foray on Mano e Mano. Mano oh, I, I don't know how you say that, sorry. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Embarrassing, embarrassing, uh, embarrassing um, language knowledge there from me, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but we should be okay. Lysias of Chalcodon, he does have 27 men. That's the only thing. We only have 28 between our two generals. Although Mentes is a gold star general. What a boy. What a boy. Mentos is an absolute boy. Well, here we go, guys. Here comes their general. He has come off the town square, so that's given us time to get our Thurio Foroi in there. I have brought the greenest and sort of healthiest units forward. This guy does have his two experience, but this guy doesn't even have an armor up uh, weapon upgrade. This guy's got no experience at all. So hopefully this will give them a little bit of experience without too many losses, is my thinking behind it anyway. And uh, hopefully this is going to allow us then to move on to the town square. So let's go for that. Well, there we go. We are basically on the town square killing the king now after he routed against our boys. That was nice. Nice little battle. Really, really fun as well. Very nice indeed. This 304, 142 kills. That is by far the MVP. This hoplite, though, 79 and 88 as well. Pretty darn good. Just decent across the board. Well done, men. Well done. Very nice indeed. Well, once again, let's enslave Chalcodon. And that is Byzantium dead. So that does leave that army on that side of the thing. But I don't think they're going to be strong enough for us to really care what they do. Uh, unfortunately for them. Problem here is we are going to attack Bithynia, who are Thracian, of course. So they do have decent armies. What is that? Oh my god, that's that's more than a decent army. Hmm. Do we do we want to retreat? <laughs> I don't think we beat that, you know, with hoplites, unless it's all missile troops. We need a spy, ideally. Um, I think I've got two spies up north, unfortunately. So let's get this spy on here. Get him off. Let's have a look at what they've got. Okay, it's not. It's actually not all missiles. There is a lot of infantry there, including the Bithynian hoplites, which, as you can see, guys, 40 defense. Very, very nice. And, of course, Romphia Foroi, which, as we know, their morale attack stacks so well. So what I think we will do is we will retreat somewhat. Let's just be calm about this, though. Don't do anything silly. And uh, we will go back and retrain this army. I think Masambria is the best place, right? Masambria is mainly the best place. We will have another Thurio 4, right? We will be able to retrain the Prodromoi there, too. Huh, this, is, this is a little bit sketchy, I'm not going to lie. Huh, is there anything else we could bolster our army with? Potentially mercenaries. There are a lot of mercenaries here, and there are horse archer mercenaries, <laughs> um, and mercenary noble Thracian cavalry. I mean, we'll take that, we'll take that. Next turn, we'll take both of those uh, before anyone else can gobble them up, and uh, yeah, I think we'll be good. Well, we know what that means, don't we, boys? <laughs> I'm still really unsure as to why we cannot offer these guys an alliance. We are not enemies with any of their enemies, and we they are not ally they are not enemies with any of our allies. So yeah, I, I don't really know. Does if anyone knows, please do comment down below. It's something that I've been wondering for a while, because it seems to happen quite a bit. Well, another suitable husband. Let's absolutely smash that guy in. Where are you, my friend? You are there. Um I think you can probably govern Byzantium would be a good one for you my friend very nice indeed we do have this ship is very helpful to us i probably should have protected it um but yeah it's fine well now we can continue our march towards karakine let's go for that oh how i would love to bring melsos the builder along for our escapades but um unfortunately he doesn't have any command and he's very good at managing so it will be nice to keep him in misambria but yeah, it's a bit sad that we can't use him for some more commandy, commandy things because of those that lovely 34-sized general's bodyguard. But apart from that, I think we're pretty good, guys. We're going to keep on moving to Karakine. In terms of the plan, I think that Bithynian monster army 
has kind of forced our hand here. We can now see most of it. And honestly, that is a very, very nice army. Although, however messed up it is, it is rather nice. So we're probably actually just going to sail on by and go towards Heraclea Pontica. Now, we probably will border the Galatians by doing that. So, yeah, it's rather risky. Either that or we can just go full ham on the Bosporans. Maybe we'll do that. We'll see. Although, I have to make the decision now. So, yeah, let's go for the Bosporans. <laughs> I think we're in a nice position down south. Thracians attacking us, but that's fine. Like I say, these three... Four settlements. Uh, oh, that one does actually. But these four settlements are not part of the challenge. So it really doesn't matter too much what happens to them. And they will take forever to try and siege this down. So that isn't going to be a problem. Um, but yeah, let's keep on going. Well, I've saved a bit of money. And it was for this situation. So honestly, I don't mind the Thracians taking Bisanthe Because Apro is bordering the Seleucids. And if the Seleucids come and take that then we will directly be bordering the Seleucids. Actually, we would be anyway with Bizia. Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll just put together a little bit of a mercenary fighting force. It's going to cost us a significant amount of money, honestly, guys. But, um, yeah. Oh, Cretan Hoplites. Very nice. Let's go for that 20,000 gold for that mercenary army. So that should be enough to see these guys off. We'll see them off. And then what we'll do, we'll garrison these two areas with them that should put off anyone especially the thracians from attacking and then we'll put these guys into there look we're all planned out guys we're all lovely lovely bit of planning there lovely bit of planning that has tanked our income but um we've been conquesting like crazy so really it doesn't matter too much and finally we're able to build those cavalry stables boys that is going to allow us to get our own aor horse archers which um how big an army we can make of those boys, I don't know before the end. But um, yeah, we'll be, yeah, we'll be pretty, pretty nice, won't we? Well then, let's take Karakine, guys. That's just going to be an auto-resolve. 246. Not too bad. I do believe the settlements in here, the two that are in here, do have large garrisons of decent troops. But it's mainly missile. The only thing we need to worry about is the step cavalry, as we have seen. They are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good. So, yeah, we just need to be slightly wary of those boys. But let's keep on a move in, my friends. And I am probably just going to leave behind that 10 Greek hoplites. We've got plenty of hoplites on the way. So, yeah, I'm not too bothered about that. I think we'll go for the more difficult one first. So let's go for that. And that will definitely then... Uh, this one won't. But uh, the next one will definitely put us bordering that. There is another settlement down here. I think it's... Where is it? It's there. It's there. So we want to try and take these three settlements with this wounded army, ideally. Um, and then we'll uh, jump on them with the, uh, the other guys. And the Thracians actually did go for the attack. Honestly, like I say, I'm not that bothered. It's another buffer state for us. And thinking back to the past, guys, probably should have been building up at least these two settlements in order to recruit, like, garrison troops here. But we do have some garrison troops who've just been dropped off, so that is not too bad. And we are going to send them back to pick up those boys. So let's go for that. Hopefully they don't get destroyed, um, but that should be fine. And then our other army. Where are you, other army? You are here. How far can you get? You can get all the way to there. So we're going to send you there. Well, now the Thracians have taken that settlement over. Let's uh, divvy out these troops. We're going to send two to the north into Bizia. And we're going to send two of those boys into Perinthos. We're going to send the general and them into there. And we're going to send these boys into there. That should be enough to hold them back, depending on what they throw at us. But uh, it should be enough to ward them off anyway. It's costing us a lot of money to garrison these areas. But uh, while our armies are gone, guys, I think it's worth it. The only thing that worries me now is the uh, Bithynians. 
are now allied with the Thracians. So that probably means they are going to attack us very soon. But are they clever enough to do a naval invasion, guys? I'm not too sure about that. So if we lose Chalcodon, we lose Chalcodon. That's no problem. We are making big gains in terms of our goal in the north very nicely. The only issue is this army doesn't have horse archers. So what I am thinking of doing is maybe removing a few of these boys and getting some horse archers in here and potentially putting together another army. That would be excellent first things first though let's get into this battle guys it's not going to be fun i can say that for free but hopefully we can get rid of these step cavalry before they get rid of all their ammo because that's not going to be fun well luckily they're not crowding the uh the gate with their step cavalry so that's allowed us to uh, get up close and personal with their step archers and the step axemen um, and yeah, we're just going to chuck as many javies as we can because once we get into the city, hopefully we can corner this step cavalry and get rid of them. Um, but yeah, they are they are a very good cavalry unit, honestly, for uh, for rebels. So yeah, I'm slightly worried, but we should be okay. Well, here they come, trying to meet us at the gates and the walls. So we are going to just march straight in, guys, and try and show them the might of our infantry. Um, we know they have mighty cavalry, but we have experienced infantry that has been through a lot of rebels. That has been through a lot of pain, a lot of battles. So let us get them in there. Let's get rid of these step axemen and show them how disciplined Greek troops work out here in the steppe. Well, they're already shaken and wavering, guys. That is a very good sign. This guy's already broken. Very, very nice. So what we're going to do, we're going to get all of these boys forward try and get them forward and uh, attack some of this step cavalry and hopefully like we saw in the last battle against the Zistaphoroi we'll be able to absolutely shred them here but uh, let's see what we can do well here we go the big blob of infantry versus the step cavalry let's go boys hopefully we can uh, take them down but uh, that is that remains to be seen I think we'll be okay against them it's just going to take a little bit of a while because they have a decent amount of hit points with their armor um, etc. Let's have a look. Six armor, yeah. Defense skill of 14 as well and four shield. So total defense of 24 is not bad. And their armor piercing, which is going to hurt us slightly. But um, yeah, we should be okay. Well, we're going to be a bit risky with our general here. There goes the step first step cavalry. Let's see if, if we can bring these guys forward. Um, and it looks like they are just charging more and more men into the fight. So that's going to be good for us. This is a very, very long formation too. So it's not exactly an effective formation for us to fight. Uh, sorry, for them to them to beat us with. But we should be able to uh, to beat them nice and handily here with that really long formation. So there we go, boys. Let's go. And it seems we are out hoarding the hordes right now, guys. We are just charging through with all of our infantry. And they are doing a fantastic job just constantly breaking these guys. So ideally, we don't want to fight them on the town square, it seems. We just want to break them all. But... Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be hard to break them all, especially when they come in like that with their step cavalry. But uh, yeah, for now, we're doing a decent job. Well, this has turned into a little bit of a clusterfuck, I'm not going to lie. Um, but we are just pushing through. We are powering through. Got our general involved now. I'm going to get him out now because he's taken a few losses. So uh, yeah, for now, let's just get him out. Also, our cavalry cannot be in there. We don't need you guys in there. Just, just chill, man. Chill. So I'm not going to lie, that is pretty much all of their troops guys that is pretty much all of them i don't think we're going to be able to do another battle like this though that is the issue here that is the issue we're going to try and surround them um i'm not too bothered about fighting them on the town square because i think we'll do a decent job of uh of fighting them there so uh let's get our horse archers in here if we can and that should hopefully pull them off the town square which will be amazing well, here we go, guys. We're kind of set up well now, which is good. We've got our horse archers in here firing into the town square, hopefully dragging them off. Um, and we've got our guys over this side too, ready to surround them when we can. So that is good. Let's keep that going. And as you can see, look, they are getting dragged off rather easily. Uh, and then we just break them and kill as many as we can each time, which is uh, very, very useful. Well, I think it's time, guys, to stop messing around and just charge onto the square. With the boys that have done all the damage here today, the Greek hoplites, they have covered themselves in glory, I've got to say. They've done a fantastic job 
um, of taking down all of this cavalry and light troops. Well done, boys. Well done. Well, I'm glad we saved the weaker one for the second battle. <laughs> I'm not going to lie because, yeah, the Greek hoplites took a bit of a battering, but they did a great job once again. 108 is the MVP in there. Fantastic. No experience gained for that troop, but uh, a bit of experience across the whole rest of the army. So very nice indeed. I think we do enslave because they are going to be rather upset with us because we are not the same culture as them at all. So, uh, yeah, I think we do do that. Um, we don't have anyone to leave behind, so we'll probably try and leave behind the four men. And as you can see, yeah, it's it's not much. And unfortunately, we don't have much in these areas either. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. I would like to just go after this straight away. Hmm. Well, have we got mercenaries? We do. We just can't afford any. <gasps> Look at the horse archers there. Scythian cataphracts. <laughs> Oh, yes, baby. That is fantastic. Let's leave behind a Thracian Hippocontestai. Maybe the Thracians can understand these people a little bit better than us. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go up to here. That should be good. And then we will be bordering the Bosporan. So I think this army, honestly, will take this and then have to go back for retraining. Uh, and then the second army, uh, which is here... We'll probably get across next turn. They can take that, and then likely they will be able to fight the Bosporans. I am slightly scared of that army. As you can see, they have their uh, Sindian cavalry, which is basically the same as the steppe cavalry there, just the Bosporan version of it. They do also have Bosporan hoplites, which are a very good hoplite, um, a lot better than ours. So we do need to be careful fighting those boys. And the Greek city-states want a ceasefire? Absolutely, oh, I am not bothered about that at all. They don't they want really trade rights. Okay, we fine. <laughs> well then, let's bring our big boys across. There we go. Very nice indeed. Let's also bring our garrison troops up here too. Um, and yeah, we've got this final, final army. What does it say about the... Uh... Yeah, we will have to fight that at some point, guys. But I think what we're going to do there, guys is call it a day we've had a very very um nice little run of it in this episode we've taken a lot of settlements i've got to say we've taken three or four up here maybe no five up here um maybe only one down in the south but it has set us up for taking all of these taking the bosporans and then we'll likely have to fight the scythians too up there which is absolutely going to be absolutely glorious we are 11th ranked now in the world with 32 regions controlled of course three of those regions are not regions that we need personally for this challenge so 29 out of about 70 regions guys doing very very nicely i've got to say if you did enjoy guys a like and a subscribe does really really help the channel out thank you very much for watching it's been a pleasure and i'll see you all again on the next video